This video will share with you the path to list certain hazardous chemicals in Annex 3 and ultimately to share information on these chemicals to allow parties to make informed decisions on trade in order to protect human health and the environment. Let us imagine that a chemical takes a journey on a bus until it arrives at the point where it gets listed in Annex 3 of the Convention. Come, follow us on this journey taken by a hazardous chemical. The first stop is the Secretariat. Here, parties notify the Secretariat of a final regulatory action to ban or severely restrict a chemical in their territory. The Secretariat will verify that the notification has the information requirements to satisfy Annex 1 of the Convention. Only those notifications that include the information requirements of Annex 1 get to qualify to receive a bus ticket to go to the CRC bus stop. But there are conditions. Notifications on the bus must be in pairs. This means there has to be two notifications for the same chemical, these notifications must come from two different countries and from two separate pick regions of the globe. Additionally, parties from developing countries or countries with economies in transition may submit to the Secretariat a proposal for a severely hazardous pesticide formulation that produces severe health or environmental effects under local conditions of use. The Secretariat verifies whether the proposal contains the information outlined in Part 1 of Annex 4 of the Convention. Only those proposals of a severely hazardous pesticide formulation that include the information requirements of Part 1 of Annex 4 get to qualify for a CRC bus ticket. Next stop on the bus ride is the CRC. But what is the CRC? The CRC means the Chemical Review Committee. This Chemical Review Committee is the scientific subsidiary body of the Conference of the Parties to the Convention, and it meets annually to assess pairs of notifications of final regulatory actions, as well as proposals for severely hazardous pesticide formulations. The committee includes 31 independent scientific experts from across the globe, that have been nominated by parties. Pairs of notifications for each chemical that are sent from the Secretariat are considered by the committee against the criteria set out in Annex 2 of the Convention. If the two notifications for a chemical both satisfy the criteria in Annex 2, this chemical is recommended to the Conference of the Parties by the Chemical Review Committee for listing in Annex 3. At its next meeting, the Chemical Review Committee will then prepare a decision guidance document for each recommended chemical to provide all parties with information included in the notifications. The Chemical Review Committee also considers each proposal for a severely hazardous pesticide formulation in line with the criteria set out in Part 3 of Annex 4. If the severely hazardous pesticide formulation proposal satisfies the criteria set out in Part 3 of Annex 4, the CRC will recommend to the Conference of the Parties that this formulation is listed in Annex 3 of the Convention. Now, let us follow the recommended chemical to the next stop, the Conference of the Parties, or, as it is called, the COP. So what is this conference of the parties? The meeting of the COP is held every two years. The COP considers whether to list the recommended chemicals or severely hazardous pesticide formulations in Annex 3. The decision of the COP is final. When the COP decides a chemical or a severely hazardous pesticide formulation is to be listed in Annex 3, the chemical or the chemical formulation then boards the bus for the final leg of the journey. Next stop is Annex 3. In Annex 3, the new chemicals join the other listed chemicals that are subject to the peak procedure. 
All parties have nine months after a banned or severely restricted chemical is listed to submit an import response to the Secretariat as to whether consent is granted for import of the chemical. The Secretariat shares information on all notifications of final regulatory actions, listed chemicals, and all import responses in the PIC circular prepared every six months. The journey that chemicals take to be listed has come to an end. Thank you for following us on the journey by which chemicals are listed in Annex 3 of the Convention. If you require further information, please contact the Secretariat or visit the website of the Convention at www.pic.int.